if you drive for DoorDash and you're somebody that had to use an early access scheduling feature within the app to schedule a week out, you probably wanna watch this video. Welcome back to the Ride Your Guy. My name is Pedro DoorDash Santiago. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what DoorDash is doing in select markets. They're testing it out, the new update to the early access features. Let's talk about that. I'm gonna to read to you some emails that have been sent out to Dashers in these markets, okay? I'll put a split screen right here. How to qualify. You qualify if you have an acceptance rate of at least 60%, a customer rating of at least 4.6, a completion rate of at least 95, and all and have accepted and completed at least five deliveries on a DoorDash platform between 12 a.m. the previous Friday and 11.59 p.m. the previous Thursday. The other option is you qualify if you have at least 60% acceptance rate. We're gonna to get to this acceptance rate change in a minute. 4.6 rating, 95% completion. Those are pretty easy to have on DoorDash. And you've completed at least 500 lifetime deliveries. So if you fall into either of those two, you can still maintain and have early access to scheduling out a week in advance. And some of you guys might need to do that. Now, this isn't a top dash or update or anything like that. However, DoorDash is definitely changing a lot about their algorithm, a lot about what acceptance rate you need to have in order to see certain features or benefits or have access to things that you might have had last month or even last year. DoorDash is continuing to change things around acceptance rate. Let's talk about that for a minute. So some of you might need to do this feature right here where you go in, you schedule out a dash week in advance, you like to plan your week out, whether you're full-time, part-time, you wanna be able to make sure you have a slot to make money with DoorDash because some markets you can't just dash now, right? got to plan it out. Now, why are they mandating this at least 60% AR acceptance rate? Well, the quick answer is they need to get these orders delivered. And they're, they're understanding a lot of us don't want to take the crap orders. So this is a way for them to manipulate and say, hey, you want to continue to have early access scheduling? I need your AR to be at least 60. So some of you guys that might be 40 or 50%, pretty close, you might take, you might be willing now to have that early scheduling access to take a few crap orders to get it up to 60%. What that does is DoorDash then is able to serve more customers in a faster time and it works for them. DoorDash is, is going to continue to change and switch things up so that we have to take more orders. Everything that they're doing is kind of gearing and moving towards that. Have you guys noticed that in your market? What changes have you noticed? What's your acceptance rate? Put it in the comments down below. Are you a top dasher? Are you a cherry picker? What is your acceptance rate and why do you do that? Have you seen differences if you have a higher acceptance rate in the kind of orders you get? Or do you have a low one and you still get good orders? Are you somebody that if this came to your market, you would then want to have your acceptance rate above 60%? How do you feel about that? Answer any and all those questions in the comments down below. For me, this has not hit my market, which is good. My acceptance rate right now, I think is about 15, 16%. It goes as high sometimes as 25 to 30. Acceptance rate is a hot button issue for a lot of dashers. And a lot of you guys have to have a high one in order to get certain things, get a schedule, be top dasher, feel like you could dash now. DoorDash, like I said, is gonna to continue to push the envelope, push the button, try to manipulate, try to do things to have your AR go up. Because the more dashers that have a higher acceptance rate, the more orders that are being filmed timely, and it actually saves DoorDash money in the long run. Put your comments down below, put your thoughts down below. Appreciate you guys for being here. Check out this next video here if you want more DoorDash content. Consider hitting subscribe, like, share the video. Check out the links down below if you're interested in being a driver in the gig economy. See you next week.